Nearly 23.6 million people will die from heart disease. And in the next three minutes, three people in the United States will have a heart attack. So joining us to kick off National Heart Health Month is Dr. William Cooper, also known as Coop the Heart Doctor. Dr. Cooper is a cardiothoracic surgeon, professor, decorated Army veteran, author of the book Heart Attack, Truth, Tragedy, and Triumph, and he has his own podcast, Hang In with Dr. Cooper. His clinical research has been published in more than 100 journals, so welcome. Dr. William Cooper, thanks for being here. Let's dive right in. What are some misconceptions about heart health? Thank you so much for having me, Emily. Well, one of the biggest misconceptions is that heart disease affects older, obese men who smoke, who may perhaps be diabetic. Uh, but that's true. But the fact of the matter is heart disease affects a much broader swath of our population. Uh, I've operated on literally thousands of people throughout my career uh, as young as age 27, bypass surgery. Imagine that. Okay, so that's the message here today is that we need to start thinking about this at a much younger age and educate ourselves on the things that we can do to help prevent it. And, you know, we're starting to see lots of people talk about people who are really active and we're seeing lots of that, that in the headlines. So where do we start to build better heart health, even if we are really active? Very important, but where we start is with diet, okay? Healthy lifestyles, that's what leads to healthy hearts. And diet is the number one factor to help us build that healthy heart, okay? But when we start talking about diets, it's been so commercialized, nutrition can be difficult, we think. But let me give you a very practical example and one approach that I take. I love peanuts, for example, okay? Southern peanut growers have shown us that you can actually incorporate peanuts into a heart healthy diet. Why can you do that? Very important, because peanuts have unsaturated fats, which are the better fats, easier to metabolize and burn, okay? They have heart healthy nutrients like fiber, magnesium, and vitamin E, and they have the highest protein content of any nut. So let's try a little twist on that, okay? Peanut PB&J, add some fresh fruit to your PB&J on a whole grain bun. Add some peanuts to your kale salad or to your stir fry. Why? Because it's taking something that you love that in fact happens to be healthy for you and incorporating it into a heart healthy diet. So that's a practical approach rather than chasing diets and things like that. I love peanuts and if you if you don't eat them every day but you love that crunch and you and you need that that sort of salty satisfying thing you got to add peanuts yes. into almost every dish because it, it really is delicious how yes. about some other solutions to help improve heart health absolutely you we talked about a little bit a second ago regular exercise and movement is critically important okay no never too late to kickstart your fitness journey and no better time than now February heart month is is, is a time to get that going and our friends at Planet Fitness are going to help us with that the judgment-free zone great place. They help people meet their fitness goals, boost their overall energy, pro promote physical and mental well-being, and help you get on the pathway to a healthier lifestyle. Very, very important. So in the month and throughout the month of February, and in honor of Heart Health Month, Planet Fitness will be showing love to us by offering free heart healthy workouts on their PF app. All of these workouts, cardio, yoga, toning, stretching, all designed to benefit a heart healthy journey. Boost your mood, increase your energy. And it, I mean, it really will. Uh, I didn't work out Monday and Tuesday of this week, and I was just in—I was just in a bad mood. This morning, I got up, I got moving, and now I'm—I'm I'm ready to go. I got all my energy, and my heart feels good. Let's go. let's talk about the warning signs of heart disease, because you know it can be hard to know what we're looking for. So, what are some warning signs? Yeah, yeah, I and mean, that's very, very important. I mean, so many people show up the first time and they say, oh, I didn't know. Well, you know, unfortunately, a heart attack is the first time that people, a lot of people understand or recognize they have heart disease. So it's important to understand the subtle things. <clears throat> the shortness of breath, the fatigue. Okay, things that I used to do I avoid now because they don't they don't make me feel comfortable. Okay, important to exercise regularly because if you, for example, Emily, have been able to do 30 minutes at 5% grade on that treadmill and gradually over time now you can only do 10 or 15, you should be asking yourself the question why. You shouldn't be saying, hey, just getting older, slowing down. That's what so many people do because we don't want to have heart disease. So what we do is we start to avoid those things. But it's important to tune in to double down Tell your doctor, go see your doctor. Women, 
Remember, the signs and symptoms of heart disease and especially heart attacks in women are different than they are in men, okay? Women may present with anxiety, depression, muscle aches, all kinds of weird things, okay? That could be a sign of cardiovascular disease. So understand and recognize your risk and do something about it. It is so important, <coughs> you mentioned there, tuning into your body. It's so important to understand mm -hmm. your body and know what it feels like so that when you get to the doctor, you can advocate for yourself and you can say, this doesn't feel right or you can say I don't normally feel this way it's so important right. to, to tune into yourself and you you know you can learn more by reading and you've got a book out there heart attack truth the tragedy <laughs> and triumph so tell us about your book yeah, so heart attack, two tragedy, and triumph is just that. The truth is heart disease, as we discussed, can affect anyone. It affected my family. One of eight kids, one of three of those eight that's, only, that's uh, still alive today. Everybody else died young. Uh, nobody made it past the age of 58. Heart disease, diabetes, cancer, HIV, AIDS, you name it. Um, and that's the truth, okay? The tragedy is, is that a lot of those things are largely preventable. Okay, and all we have to do now is triumph. Take all this information that we have given you here today and do something about it. Heart attack, truth, tragedy, triumph. Well, it, so it sounds like an inspirational story. I mean, your, your description of it <coughs> makes me want to read it. Where can we go for more information? Absolutely. Tipsontv.com. There's information there about me, my book, as well as all this great information that we put here for you all today. All right, great. Dr. William Cooper, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Emily. Take care. Have a great day. Still ahead here, Clovis Unified students get a chance to explore future careers through their education. We'll share some of the different opportunities available.